uh, story now. So now we see uh, the self-interest uh, that, that uh, Denmark is benefiting directly from strong commercial ties with, uh, Bangla Bangladesh. with Bangladesh. We're selling, it's a market for us. We're also buying, and, and what's often overlooked is that access to high quality, low cost products is of real and direct benefit to consumers in Europe and in Denmark. It means that they're able to go to uh, the garment store or uh, uh, any other store and buy Bangladeshi products and they get more for their money. And this is beneficial to our economy. Okay, so what's the role of media to improve the relationship between Denmark and Bangladesh? How well, I think we're doing a good job now. Uh, aren't aren't we talking? The program, yes. we are sitting right now. So, so this is it. Um, uh, we, uh, we like to propel up all the positive stories uh, that are there. And I see it as my role also to the media in, in Denmark to tell about the, uh, the positive achievements of Bangladesh to counter a little bit the negative image that has been there too long about Bangladesh. Yeah and to tell about the, the new Bangladesh uh, and the opportunities here so that investors and buyers also uh, get encouraged to exactly. invest. Exactly, so they're encouraged to, 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 uh, to come here. That's, that's, uh, that's my, my role. Then we try to work also with uh, social media uh, like Facebook and uh, YouTube and, and these instruments to reach out directly to, uh, to the, uh, the people of Bangladesh. Okay, um, how can you relate the cultures of the both countries, you know, Danish culture and Bangladeshi culture? How can you relate it uh, through the media or whatever? How do you feel? Well, we do that uh, at every occasion. We try when something is going on in the cultural feed. There, are, there can be a Danish Bangladeshi painter, uh, artist uh, visiting Bangladesh. Yeah. We try to tell the story. Uh, whenever there's something going on, uh, like some months ago, there was a Tagore exhibit um, at uh, the National Academy of Arts in, in, in Copenhagen, and we try to tell that story about uh, what's going on. There's so much. Uh, that can be exchanged and, and talked about. And there are two levels for this. One is uh, the actual exchanges um, that are going on, a concert takes place or, or something like that. The next level is just through the media telling that story about uh, what's, uh, what's going on. Um, how do you perceive the celebrations of you know, Bangladeshi culture, like the New York celebration? Have you ever seen any, you know, that uh, festive look of Bangladesh during well, the celebrations? Well, I have to say my, 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 my favorite part there is the, the New Year celebrations okay. uh, here, which oh, are hello, very Shaq. colorful. Yes, such a positive atmosphere uh, also. All the people. Uh, very joyous, you know. Very, very joyous and, and the waves and waves of people in central Dhaka is uh, a yeah. sight to behold, but all in a positive mood. Same yeah. for language uh, day, by the way, would be the same kind of atmosphere. That's fantastic. Okay, uh, Mr. Zvanoling, we're kind of at the end of the program. So uh, how would you like, uh, you know, to see Bangladesh after 10 years? Oh, I'd like three things. I'd like, first of all, to see continued consolidation of democracy in, uh, in Bangladesh, less confrontational nature of, uh, of national politics. Parties. Yes, um, uh, that's the first thing, a stabilizing factor for, for democracy. Uh, the, the second thing I'd point to is uh, um, I'd like to see Bangladesh firmly establish itself as a middle-income country with continued growth. Uh, mm -hmm. and produ productivity and a trade partner for Denmark and then thirdly uh, I would like to see on the basis of, of this of a stable democracy and of uh, a strong commercial performance uh, I would like to see continued role for Bangladesh and even more so uh, as a force for the good on the global stage on these global issues that we all care about and which connect Denmark to Bangladesh this is climate change this is peacekeeping this is trade policy this are human rights uh, and I think we will see that. And we are really optimistic that Bangladesh will eventually acquire, uh, achieve this, you know, uh, developments. You're very well dangers. underway for that, so okay. I'm optimistic. Okay, thank you very much for give, giving a valuable time and for being with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.